I wanted to buy a Lamborghini in the next two weeks, so I joined a crypto pump and dump group on Facebook so I could make some money. What you guys are about to find out is that one member of this group is making millions of dollars in the crypto space. Together, we're gonna try and find out if this guy is making money by being a crypto expert or if he's a pump and dump rug puller. This is Russ Davis, who claims to be a crypto expert. He created a Facebook group called In Russ We Trust, and he has a membership subscription service for his crypto picks. One of the main benefits is that you will load your bags with early access to new token announcements. If you had a paid subscription, for the last seven months and invested $100 in each new pick when Russ announced it in the newsletter. On average, you would have made $140,000, which is a 200x. What's hilarious is this idiot can't even do math. A 200x return on $100 doesn't yield $140,000. Math aside, these are the kinds of returns I want. Turning this measly $100 bill into a Lamborghini in two weeks is exactly how I want to invest. He said it only took seven months, so get ready. I'm gonna start shopping soon. Some of you DM me on Instagram asking for investment advice. We're gonna find out today if investing in crypto pump and dumps will yield the highest returns. Right now, a project called DrivenX is all the rage in the Facebook group, up 70% over the last 24 hours. One of the top gainers on coin market cap. Another Russ pick doing very well in a bear market. Happy Easter, everyone. Driven X is risen. This poster shows a chart of the recent spike for the Driven X coin. This same Nico guy posted yesterday that the goal was to remove a zero from Driven X coin's price. A lot of people are hyping this coin up. Surely it's a great project, right? When you look at a more macro level view, you get a better picture of the value of this project. This little spike down here represents the last week where the coin jumped 70%. This is the Case-Shiller Index representing real estate prices over the last 35 years. This is a crypto coin that obviously gets pumped and dumped. One chart shows an asset that has inherent value. One shows a useless coin that gets pumped and dumped. Well, Spencer, how do you explain this useless coin, as you say, jumping up 70% in price over the last couple days? Any crypto group centered around a single leader who has positioned himself as a crypto expert will create a belief in everyone that they're about to get rich. When you claim to turn $100 into $140,000, everyone believes that you're the crypto messiah delivering delivering profits to everyone out of the goodness of your heart with your excellent picks. If you follow my channel, then you probably have a pretty good eye for spotting BS. I want you to see if you can find the flaw in Russ's rags to riches story. Of a guy with us who went from bankrupt to millionaire because he invested in cryptos. Russ Davis is our guest and he joins us now. All right, Russ, I want to go through this right from the very beginning. When did you get into cryptos? Which cryptos did you buy and at what price? Russ paid to be on Fox News so he could share his rags to riches story. Since a majority of people don't know that these are paid interviews, it makes the story look credible. So I didn't get in uh, till about 2015, 2016, and I had heard all these people making so much money with cryptocurrency, I had no idea what it was. So I started doing some research and investing in Ethereum and some of the well-known ones. Then I realized that the, the margins were actually way better doing some of these penny ones, penny socks, but in coins. If you join Russ's group today, all you see is positive comments leading someone to believe that joining Russ's group is going to make them a lot of money. So you started out in 2015, 2016, buying Ethereum and a couple of others. How much did you put mm -hmm. in and how much are you worth now? <laughs> Um, I've probably put in, in the, um, in the last six years, maybe 30,000 and, um, probably in the range of 5 million right now. A news article titled Milford Man says doing the right thing led to $1 million lottery win with a picture of Russ Davis holding his winning check. The check is dated November 16, 2016. You are worth $5 million and you made it all in cryptos. Well, congratulations. Yep. I mean, that's... Russ just happened to win a million dollar lottery at the same time he claimed to make his money from investing in crypto. Uh, hi, my name is Russ and I just won a million dollars. These two events aren't mutually exclusive. He could have turned $30,000 into $5 million with crypto and won the lottery, but the more you deep dive into Russ's crypto career, the more shady things become. On May 22, 2021, a member of the group shared his crypto portfolio based on Russ's picks. With guys like Russ, you can't evaluate their crypto picks the first week. You need to look at a more macro level view to understand what is really happening and to better evaluate his expert knowledge on Ponzi schemes, excuse me, meme coins. Rocket Bunny is selection number Number one, Russ makes a pick around this time. Thousands of people in his group buy, then the coin tanks. FEG token is selection number two. Russ makes a pick around this time. Thousands of people in his group buy, then the coin tanks. Ethereum Max is selection number three. He pumped it hard in May 2021 before the Mayweather Paul fight. Thousands of people in his group buy, then the coin immediately tanks. Society of Galactic Exploration, Sanshu Inu, Hokkaido Inu, 
pigeon poop inu. <laughs> Just kidding. But this is 100% a future Rust pick. Lastly, Bazoge Earth. This chart isn't as obvious as the others, but if you look deeper, you can see that it's been pumped twice. There was a pump and dump in May 2021, but there was an even bigger pump and dump in November following everyone in the group promoting it. With any Ponzi scheme like crypto meme coins, investors are always looking for a greater fool to come along. Once someone realizes that they were conned into losing 90% of their investment, they make one last attempt to lure others in, as seen here. Just so y'all know or wondering, yes, Emacs is still a buy. Bought big on today's fire sale. You don't have to follow the crowds. When you do your own research, you know what's worth keeping. I still believe big things will come from this project. Thankfully, this guy did the research and has a great rating system for figuring out what to buy. This investor made this post on June 28, 2021. Him saying he bought Ethereum Max at a discount is a little bit of an understatement. You are worth $5 million and you made it all in cryptos. Yep. I mean, that's... The more I looked into Russ's picks, the more I got the sense that he makes money from hyping projects to his group of 24,000 people and selling his shares once the project moons. He doesn't exactly have a good track record. What about, what about Russ? Russ? Russ, Russ, listen. Listen, listen. We have screenshots Justin Mayer admitted to washing money. Justin Mayer is Russ's brother-in-law and one of the major players allegedly behind Ethereum Max. Justin posted about Ethereum Max all the time in the group attempting to get people to buy the coin. Everyone was sent to the crypto slaughterhouse on that project. So washing money with wallets through exchanges. Really did like not that, me. That, I'm telling you right now. Stop associating with Tell everybody on Instagram right now that Emacs is the only legitimate project you have backed in the last two months that is not a rug pull. To buy Emacs, put all the money back and continue to hold them. Stop blaming other people for what you and Justin Mayer are doing. He's gone. Guys, guys, you see? Russ was one of the biggest promoters of Ethereum Max. This video took place in Miami before the Mayweather Paul fight. Russ was sporting an Ethereum Max shirt and hat. Here's a screenshot of Russ's picks. I don't know the date where he picked them specifically, but if you follow all of his other picks, it's likely that it was right before the big pump. Here's Doge Killer's chart showing a massive pump and dump. Boom Baby was another one of Russ's picks and looks like a terrific investment. All of the comments you see on the screen are people desperately trying to promote the coin so a greater fool will come along and pay more for the worthless trash than they did. But the best comment of all is the legend crypto expert Justin Mayher. So I jumped on a call with a boom baby developer a few days ago. Thought I'd share my notes from that conversation so you can see how we do our due diligence as a team on this page. The due diligence of this guy is immaculate, as seen here. Who could have seen this chart happening? I wonder if his due diligence includes how much profit he makes from dumping on the group. Hashtag quit Ika caught the eyes of crypto guru Russ Davis in November when we became an official pick and we've done it again. Our utility from day one is completely unmatched and as Russ said, the market price should catch up soon. The utility of this coin is zero, which is not unmatched from the other poo coins being shilled and the chart looks eerily similar to almost all of Russ's official picks. Oh wow, would you look at that. A huge spike right before and during Russ making this useless coin one of his official picks then an immediate 99% drop. This would be a great test for a concussed NFL player on the sideline. Mr. Player, can you point to the obvious pump and dump points on this chart? If they aren't able to, they're declared concussed and do not need to be playing. But now tell me about your own coin. You're trying to reduce yeah. something called people's coin. What's going on? Yep. Uh, the people's coin is, it's been a vision of mine for a long time to come up with an honest coin and help out charities with cryptocurrency. Ah yes, a crypto token that will help save the world. I haven't heard that one before. Are you guys ready for another one of Russ's excellent picks? Come on, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. On the left hand side is a Facebook post by Russ to the pump and dump Facebook group stating his interest in a telegram group for a project called Matrix Samurai Token. He claims to be one of the founding samurais. Notice the date, June 2nd. On the right hand side is a telegram post by Russ on June 28th saying he had nothing to do with MXS and the fraudulent behavior. He says all the best but unassociated. Russ not telling the truth is shocking. It appears that some people are starting to notice what is really happening. This Reddit post details everything that Justin Mayer and Russ Davis allegedly do. Justin Mayer, a well-known scammer along with Russ Davis, launch projects they then send out as picks. They can afford to do anything as they've scammed for millions of dollars. You are worth $5 million and you made it all in cryptos. Yep. I mean, that's... Don't get it twisted. Russ makes millions of dollars in the crypto space. Just not exactly in the ways you'd think. Then I realized that the, the margins were actually way better doing some of these penny ones, penny socks, but in coins. So I tried doing stock market penny trading, 
but I didn't have $25,000 and that's what you need to start day trading for those penny stocks. Okay. But with crypto, you don't need $25,000. I'm not making accusations, but from what I've seen, Russ's operation looks entirely like a pump and dump scam similar to penny stocks. All of his picks just happen to be low volume crypto projects. He sends the picks to a group of over 20,000 members. Those people all buy the coins hoping to get rich quickly. And every single chart has a pump period followed by a massive drop. In a class action lawsuit filed against Uniswap that's basically stating the platform allowed scams to be sold as securities, they ironically listed examples that coincidentally are almost all Russ's picks. Here's a tweet from Russ stating that Rocket Bunny is about to rocket with the address to buy some. The date is May 19th. On the Rocket Bunny chart, you can clearly see that Rocket Bunny is in the middle of a pump before a couple of dumps a week or two later. Russ makes a lot of money from his monthly subscriptions. My opinion, I believe that he participates in many pump and dumps as seen by every chart I've presented. If he isn't rug pulling, then he's the worst crypto investor of all time because 95% of his picks result in a rug pull or massive drop right after he promotes it to a group of 20,000 people. Hmm. Cribcoin is another project Russ seemed to like a lot. It's performed excellently since he sent the message to his group. Schrodinger, Kitty Dinger, based on Elon Musk's cat's name, Coin is very well structured and high potential. Yes, a great project is defined by its name coming from a famous person's cat. As expected, Russ seemed to have posted about a project at the very peak before the price came crashing down. What are the odds? Four months ago, Russ gave his official pick of mine token. And we have another winner for the crypto expert and his excellent track record of picking great projects. Here, a member asks, what's up with Excel? Don't worry, folks, our crypto leader is here to save the day. Russ says, I'm going to work with them. No effing clue, I have a bunch too. Complete shocker, the worthless coin is down 93% after being promoted in the pump and dump group. Here's Russ's ethical brother-in-law, Justin Mayer, who was a financial advisor with Northwestern Mutual. The representative was permitted to resign while under internal review for allegations that the representative was involved in a cryptocurrency shilling scam. I joined this group because I wanted to turn $100 into an Aventador, but all I see is projects that lose 99% of their value right after Russ promotes them. Maybe I'll just try my luck with the lottery. Thanks for watching.